this was the start of one of the best comebacks you will see in any Grand Prix in any category. And we're set to go racing here in the Austrian Grand Prix. We're underway at the Red Bull Ring in Spielberg. Great launch from pole position uh, by Danny Holgado. But it's been a lightning start by Sasaki as well. He comes through on the pole man, and it looks like it'll be on you, though, the turn that will get the whole shot. Interesting to see what Ayumu Sasaki now does. You'd imagine he's going to want to get past Dennis on you before he serves his penalty. Sasaki, like Sasaki, Sasaki though, into the lead. This is crucial for his yeah, strategy. Here comes Suzuki as well. So Red Bull Tim having a tough turn nine here on that first lap in Austria because Sasaki took the lead from Anju and Suzuki pinched third place from the Palman Halgado dropping down the hill into turn nine. So it will be Sasaki started second. He'll come over the line on the end of lap one in the lead. Of course, he does have a double long lap penalty. When will he peel in? Sasaki, is he coming in straight away for the first one? No, he's not. He's not flashed at all. The yet. There we go. Anju and Suzuki <laughs> got underneath him into turn one. They both run in hot and Sasaki on the outside just said, thank you very much. Oh, Anju getting really aggressive aggressive on Sasaki coming through turn seven they'll flick it hard right now through turn number eight over the crest and attack down the hill on the brakes into turn nine Sasaki will have the inside line and that means Anju won't be able to turn in here. oh here they go four abreast now Sasaki will just about hold it on the brakes around the outside comes fellow Japanese rider Suzuki oh. oh there's almost contact there between Suzuki and Anju as they sweep down towards turn ten Holgado now gets himself up in a third place unbelievable and Foggy got back past Garcia in the background as well they're in that chasing group which are just going to be brought back into play with all the chaos up ahead of him. Foggia and Garcia have got Munoz for company. You can see him Sasaki's there on the in. 44. Sasaki's coming. You can see he was hugging the curb there on the outside. He was clearing 10 there. As soon as he got the notification, he was coming in as quick as he could. We'll try and pick out where he drops back into the field. He's so there alongside with Yamanaka. Yamanaka, a fellow Japanese runner. Yeah, it cost Sasaki three seconds, that long lap penalty, and he's got one more to go. Further back, Sasaki has now served his second long lap penalty. That's 17 laps remaining. Tell you what, are you Mr. Sasaki? He's not out of this yet. He's in 18th place, served his two long lap penalties. He's in circuit. the group. That's the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. And on the second consecutive lap, Ayumi Sasaki sets the fastest lap of the Grand Prix, and he's half a second quicker than the leaders. So Sasaki up into 15th place. He's there in the middle of your picture on the 71 bike. Started on the front row. We remind you, as Lewis mentioned, he has served both of those long lap penalties, and he's right in this battle. He's already picked up three on this lap. He's up into 12 now. Lap eight of the Grand Prix. Now, Sasaki's now picked his way into the top 10. The charge is coming, isn't it, from Sasaki? He started this lap 11th. He's picked up another three places. Sasaki's blitzing it right now, Lewis. Another best lap of the Grand Prix from the Japanese rider. It's game on here for Sasaki, not just for the podium, but for a potential stunning victory here in Spielberg. Eight tenths of a second quicker than the leader, Yubi Sasaki. Could he get himself back on terms with the leaders following his penalties? He can now get to work and pick his way through. Yeah, he's there he goes on Marrera. Straight away, he's got onto the rear tyre Marrera and instantly he's made his move. This, as we've said before this season in Moto3, Sasaki like a hot knife through butter. What a charge this has been coming through by Sasaki. Foggy is getting a message on his dashboard, mapping one. As we remind you, there are no differentials in terms of tyre choice here. Everybody on that medium front soft rear tyre. Now Sasaki is going to go through on Garcia down into turn nine. So on the last lap, he made up three places from 11th to 8th. He's now inside the top six. Eight tenths of a yeah. second quicker than the leader. That's now four lap records he's made. He's through on Munoz as in well. In the last five laps, and now he's picked off David Munoz. It's only a matter of time, isn't it? Surely before Sasaki doesn't get himself not only in the top three, but also to the front of this Austrian Grand Prix. And Sasaki now through on his former teammate Unchu. They made contact at this very corner once upon a time. He's not content with that. He's also through on Hongardo. A 141-541, that snail's pace for Sasaki, isn't it? Compared <laughs> to his, where his lap times have been. Sasaki there now, remarkably, just over half race distance after the two long laps. He's now back in the podium places. Stunning stuff. He was leading when he took the first of those double long laps to at the start of this Grand Prix. And now he's just effortlessly moving through on Suzuki. Will he find a way through now on Guevara? No, Guevara just a little bit too strong on the brakes up the hill into turn one. But Sasaki, what was it, three laps to go? He took three places. The last lap he took two places. And now it's another two spots. He's got great slipstream here. Sasaki's going to hit the front going towards two A. No, Guevara just keeps ahead of him in the brakes going to the chicane. He got such good drive out of turn one that he was all over him. To be fair, the racing line does take you to the right and then you swing back left for turn three so that puts Sasaki on the outside he's now looking up the inside he's gone for it Sasaki then back at the front he was the early leader here in this dramatic Austrian Grand Prix and we are what just out of turn three on lap 
number 13 and Ayuma Sasaki after the double long lap penalty. Well, there's double trouble coming for the Moto3 field here because with clear track in front of him, can Sasaki somehow try and break away from this group? But if Satsuki Suzuki does have anything extra up his sleeve, now we're going to find out. So here we go then, 4.34 kilometers of this Red Bull ring circuit remaining. We're on the last lap of what's been another thriller in 2022 in Moto3. It's Advanti Sasaki. Suzuki once again. I'm not so sure that's really shaping for a move on to Sasaki. It's Munoz. defensive. Munoz goes for it on the inside of Anju. <laughs> that was aggressive. There was no way for Anju to turn in there. It looks like that was going to be Ayumu Sasaki to take a second win here in 2022. Suzuki's trying to find some drive at the final corner. It's Japan versus Japan. Hosfana versus Honda. But it's a Suzuki stunner in Spielberg. He wins an unbelievable Moto3 race here at the Red Bull Ring. Second win in three Grand Prix after a double long lap penalty for Ayumu Sasaki. Double joy for Japan. This was the stunning recovery from two long laps, which dumped him almost outside the top 20 in the early part of this Grand Prix. That's the second of the two top long laps, which cost him around six seconds. And this was the start of one of the best comebacks you will see in any Grand Prix in any category. On the inside of pole man, Danny Halgado. This was all part of the stunning surge through the field. That was at turn one. That put him on the podium places with Guevara and Suzuki ahead of him at that time. And then this was the decisive move at the top of the hill on the inside of Gas Gas Rider, Guevara at turn three. And then nobody else was able to show them his front wheel. And now we go then, Sasaki over the line to take a second win of the season. Joy for him at the Red Bull ring here in Spielberg. Nothing is impossible from double long lap penalties to double delight for Yumi Sasaki.